this is just a brief example of where, why midfoot striking is so important. We're just going to kind of breeze through this real quick and show you the difference between a midfoot and a heel strike and what that's doing for you. It's really just increasing your shock absorption properties. So if we stop, we back up a little bit. If we watch when that foot comes in contact with the ground, the toes are pulled up, the knees straight, and really what we're looking at here is the ground's going to come in and it's going to contact at the back of the heel, which is essentially going to slap that foot to the ground. Now what happens here is you have the front of the shin that's really controlling that. That's where a lot of your shin splints come from. But if we look at the overall ground force and what that's doing to you is it's pretty much just driving you backwards. Look at how that arrow is tipping backwards. So really what we're trying to do is we're trying to initiate better shock absorption through our body and when we land on our heel we're just pretty much crashing into the heel and then that whole force is just driving up into the knee into the hip. So what we need to do if we need to initially the second we touch the ground, we need to engage our shock absorbing, uh, absorbing properties of our muscles, and that's what we're going to look at doing. So we can just watch him come through. You can see how he's planting those heels big time. We need to engage the muscles to shock absorb. So if we watch him come through now, you're going to see the foot strike's a little bit different. This is after working with uh, this individual. But if we watch him, we come through. Now let's take a look and see what the ground's doing to his foot and ankle. You can see how the foot's facing straight ahead. He's not pointing the toes down, landing on the ball of the foot, that's really important. A lot of people feel like they have to land on the ball of the foot. But as he comes in contact with the ground, you can see his contact point now is in front of that ankle joint. So really, the foot's getting pushed up, which means that the calf is going to turn on. You think about the shock absorption properties, or not the shock absorption, but the strength of the calf versus the front of the shin. The calf is much stronger than the front of the shin. So the second we touch the ground, we're going to be catching all of our weight with that. The other thing we're looking at here is look at how bent his knee is. Um, so as he's coming here and here, it's a nice bent knee position. So as that ground, as that ground pushes up into him, it's just trying to spin at the hip. It's trying to spin and hinge his knee, and he's not going to be taking that huge ground reaction force backwards. So we talked about the the heel strike, how the ground was driving us backwards. Now we look, the ground's just pushing us up. And what that really enables us to do is take all the force from this back leg, and then what we're able to do is drive up and over the top to get ourselves better shock, uh, better propulsion. It's like tapping the brakes less when we run. We're, we're decreasing the forces that are acting against us. So this is just an example of why midfoot striking is so important because it allows us to, to engage our shock absorption properties that are natural in our body um, and it decreases the braking forces of when we're running.